He'd seen his mother. When I see you, I go, oh, hey, I've seen my mum. And, you, you, and when you tell someone else, you say, oh, I saw Luke, he had seen his mum. I suppose if it's really recent, you can get away with keeping it in the same tense. You can say, oh, I've seen Luke, he's seen his mum. Mm -hmm. But normally you'd, make it, you'd change it for direct and direct, and this is what the exercise is about. So say for me, he had seen... Um, il a vu... Had... Il avait... Say, so, that's all we do, his mum. Uh, Good. Excellent. Now we're going to talk normally, and then if I ask you to swap what you're saying, we're going to talk about other stuff. So I want you to talk about whatever you want in the world. Je veux que tu parles de n'importe quoi. Tu vas me parler normalement. Comme d'habitude, as normal, tu vas me parler, tu vas dire une phrase en anglais. You're going to say one sentence in English. Doucement, lentement. Slowly, softly. Après, tu vas essayer de le dire. Tu vas essayer de la dire, la phrase. You're going to try and say it. On anglais, okay? Take your time and divide everything into, into thought bubbles. So if you've got a long chunk to say, just give it me in different chunks. Go English, then French, English, then French. Okay, good. It might be, and also remember, remember, remember the grammar tip, which is um, use as much of what I've given you in a question back. Mm -hmm. So if I said, how many people are there in the class? Don't go 34. Go in the class, there are, do you know what I mean? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, vous êtes... Combien de personnes? Vous êtes combien de personnes? You are how many people? So what would the answer be? Uh, so if I said vous, lovely, nous sommes... Nous sommes 15 personnes. Très bien, Camille. We are more or less, nous sommes plus... Nous sommes. I know you probably are 15, but just for grammar, plus ou moins. Moi. And again, nous sommes plus... Push the air through, nous sommes nous plus, sommes ou, plus moins. ou moins. 15 people. 15 personnes. Okay. Ils ont quel âge? Ils ont quel âge? Ils ont... Give me a sentence in English first. Uh, they are mostly older than me. They are mostly older than you? Mm -hmm. So remember, age we have have, old as an adjective, we use be, don't we? Yeah, so we say j'ai 39 ans, I am young, je suis jeune, I am old, je suis âgé, je suis vieux, but âgé is better. So they are, give me they are, Ils ont largely, largement, largement, more old, more aged, plus âge, plus âge than me. Que moi. And again, largement, largement, they are more aged than me. Ils sont plus âgés que moi. Let me hear a nice S. Ils sont, Ils sont plus âgés que moi. Âgés. So remember that. I have an age, J. Description of them, verb to be. So now give me the way around. Um, I am younger than the majority of my friends there. Je suis, Je suis plus, plus jeune than que lovely. I want you to install in your brain if in doubt use que. Okay? <laughs> if in um, doubt use que. Than que lovely. La the majority, majority de my friends. Mm, mes amis. Lovely. There. La. La. I am younger than the majority of my friends there, said Fee in inverted commas. Okay? Fee said, what would you say in English? Oh, Fee said she... What was it? Yes, there you go, do it in indirect. So you're telling me as Fee... Okay, let's say Matthew said it. Matthew said, quote, je cite, citation, entre guillemets, between quotation marks, okay. I am younger than the majority of people, the majority of my friends, there, okay. Now let's do it indirect. Uh, um... Fee said, no, Matthew said that he, so we said, Matthew says directly, I am younger than the majority of my friends. Yeah. If I'm now going to quote you indirectly, I'm going to go, oh, Matthew said that he, he was, off you go. Matthew. Oh, no, finish in English. So Matthew said he was younger than the majority of his friends. Of his friends. You've automatically changed the possessive. Good. So Matthew said, Matthew, Matthew Adi, that he was, he, he, was because it's an adjective younger plus, plus jeune than que, que the majority, la majority of de his friends. Is Give me my friends. Mes oh, says amis. Good, says amis. Spell says for me. Yes. Good. Spell these. C e s. Same pronunciation. Says amis. Good. Okay. okay. Ma prochaine question. Okay. Um, le cours a lieu, has place, i.e. takes place quand. Quand est-ce que le cours a lieu? When is it that the cours has place? When is it the lesson takes place? Uh, 
Uh, le cours à lieu, lieu takes place. Yeah, yeah. À uh, mercredi à uh, à um, soir. Soir. Okay, go on. Mercredi soir. <laughs> mercredi soir Good. à six heures. À six heures. À six heures. Good. Which is practical for me. C'est practical. C'est pratique. Lovely. Pratique. Give me which is ce qui est ce qui est qui est ou ce qui est pratique. For me, Pour moi. because Parce que. lovely, um, I finish my work. Uh, je finis my work mon travail at à quelle heure? À dix-sept heures. À dix-sept heures trente. Dix-sept heures. Which means, which wants to say, qui, qui, what's to mean? What do you say in French? What does, what do you mean? Qu'est-ce que tu What's the phrase for to mean? What do you what do you mean? No pun intended. What do you mean in the verb to mean? What does it actually mean? Mean it means to want to say. Give me I want to say. Je. Je veux dire. Second verb is in the infinitive. Dire. Je veux. Dire. All of which are great words in French. Give me to mean. Je veux verb. You end it in an R. Je veux. Je veux dire. Lovely R sound. Okay. Je veux dire. Ask me what do you mean? Qu'est-ce que tu. Qu'est-ce que tu veux dire? Good. I meant to mean something. Is this an action or is this kind of like a mental period of things, something happening? Do you remember mental. when? We, so remember when we talk about things that sound like an action, that they're actually talking about mental processes. We use the was form. So give me I. So with the verb je veux dire, which is the first verb? Ve. Which is the second verb? Dire. So the second verb will always be in which tense? The infinitive. So give me I want to say je. V je veux dire. Give me. I wanted to say je voulais. Je voulais dire. I will want to say je voudrais. Je voudrais dire. Okay. He had wanted to say il avait mm -hmm. voulu dire. What are we going to do? Okay. Um, uh, good. So, uh, which means now that can be either that means as in that means language wise or which signifies. So which means qui veut dire? Qui veut dire? Also, qui veut dire? I am. Je, je suis. Not far. Loin. 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 Lovely. From the college. What's the word for the college? De la... Uh, de la... De... Du... Thank you. Fac? Oh, oh de la fac, college. but it's du college. Okay. okay. Which is based? Uh, qui... Uh, qui est... Bas... Based. Lovely. Over there, la... Là-bas. Là-bas. At Covent Garden. À Covent Garden. Now in fluid French, with the air behind you. Mon collège est basé là-bas. Mon collège est basé là-bas. C'est très facile pour moi. C'est très facile pour moi. Je me promène. Je me promène. Pour y aller. Pour y aller. Ok. J'arrive là. J'arrive là. À 18h. À 18h. Très bien. Euh... Excellent. Ma prochaine question. Est-ce que tu peux choisir où tu veux t'asseoir où est-ce que tu as une place déterminée Où est-ce que il n'y a, a pas de pression, il n'y a pas de choix So, do you have a pre-designated seat or can you choose where you sit uh, Give me in English, tell me how to in English. Oh, we can choose where we sit. Up you go, what verb did I use to sit down S'asseoir. Touch your ass. <laughs> Say ass. Ass. But to sit myself down. M'asseoir. M'asseoir. T'asseoir. S'asseoir. S'asseoir. Nous asseoir. Nous asseoir. Vous asseoir. S'asseoir. Mental note. When you say there thing, you say leur. When you use he washes himself, il se lave. When you say they wash themselves, il se lave. So sometimes he and they are annoyingly similar. Sometimes they're different. Give me the verb to sit down again. S'asseoir. Good. You sit yourself down. T'asseoir. Good. M'asseoir, t'asseoir, s'asseoir. What do you say to someone sit down? Assieds-toi ou asseyez-vous. Yeah? Um, good. So, in general, en general, I can choose. Je, uh, je peux choisi. choisir. Choisir. Where mm? I want to sit my ass down. Où je, je veux, je veux, je veux m'asseoir. Good, because what's the last sound you say when you say to sit down? M'asseoir. What letter do I hear in a verb? Oh. Good. Next thing. Past of sat down is assis. Assis. A double S I S. S'asseoir. Is this a reflexive verb? Yes. Great. 
So if I sat down, je me suis, remember when you have reflexives in the past, so je me suis assis. Okay, excellent. Next question. Okay. Uh, Est-ce que tu t'entends bien? Tu t'entends bien avec tes collègues. Est-ce que tu t'entends bien? Qu'est-ce qu que ça veut dire? Quel verbe? Entendre. To listen. Ça c'est écouter. Entendre. Uh, understand. Ça c'est comprendre. Entendre. Oh, J'ai entendu quelque chose. I have heard. Good. So give me the verb again. En entendre. Entend. Have you ever heard of entente cordiale, like the relationship between France and England, or sort of? Is it similar to double entendre? Same verb, double entendre is going... So, entendre refers to both hearing and also getting on well with someone, your relationship. So, double entendre means you've heard something. It can be heard in two ways. Yeah. Yeah? Just filthy, cheeky stuff. Everything I love. <laughs> entendre is relationship. So, give me, I hear myself. Je m'entends. Je m'entends. Go down the list. I want to hear soft, soft. I want to hear soft and then hard. So, je m'entends. Je m'entends. Tu t'entends. Tu t'entends. Good. Nice push. Push more. Il s'entend. Nous nous entendons. Nous nous entendons. Nous nous entendons. Entendons. Good. Or oh, en s'entendant. Yeah. Vous vous entendez. Entendez. Ils s'entendent. Ils s'entendent. Yes. Okay. Pause. Relationships are generally, would you say, the actions or the mental processes? Mental. So I got on well with whoever, um, Matthew, this imaginary Matthew again. So if I had the verb entendre, and I wanted to stick it in the was tense. What sound do I need for was? A. So give me I was getting on with. Je m'entendais. Je m'entendais. Lovely. Lovely. I got on well with him. Je m'entendais bien. Je m'entendais bien. With him. Avec. Lui. Lui. Okay. I suppose because je me suis bien entendu avec lui. I got on well with him. Notice that bien would come after the first verb. Okay. So, est-ce que tu t'entends bien? Do you hear yourselves well? I hear yourself well. I do get on well with. Avec tes collègues en général. Do you get on well with your colleagues? Uh, Tell me the English sentence. En general. Tell uh, me the English sentence, because it makes it more complicated. Well, I don't really talk to them, Luke, or whatever, but talk, tell me. Uh, yeah, I, I get on well with them, but it's Pause only... up. So divide it up. I want, you to, I want you to give me five bubbles. I don't want to stop you speaking. I just want to go bubble, bubble. So I get on well with them. So I hear myself well with them. Je m'entends bien. Uh, je, soft. Je m'entends bien. With them. Avec. Avec. Le. Uh, avec Good. Pause. Instead of saying I get on well with them, you could say we get on well, couldn't you? How would you do that? Nous nous, en... nous, nous entendons bien. bien. Good. So we get on well, but carry on in English. Next thought. Uh, mais... No, it's, give me that in English thought oh, because English, it makes you but, more complicated. Okay, uh, but it's only been two classes so far, so I don't know them very well. Okay, so give me. We have only had. So give me. We have had. Nous avons. Nous avons. Uh, give me. I have. I have had. J'ai. J'ai eu. Good. Give me more just. J'ai eu. J'ai eu. We have had. Nous avons eu. Nous avons eu. 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 Only. Seul. Seulement. Lovely two classes. Two classes. De cours. De cours. De cours. Nous avons seulement eu ou nous avons seulement fait. De cours. De cours. Which renders it difficult. Remember when we talk about adjectives? So what's the verb to render in this case? Rendu. Rendu. Give me the verb. Rendu. Rendu. Verb. Give me the verb. What, what sound is it going to have in the verb? It's going to have an R. So, going to have a R. Go R, because R is an A cognate and B English. R. Good, okay. Rondre. Spot on. Give me the soft. Rondre. Yes. So, if I'm saying that point with your finger, look at one solitary little finger. It's pointing at that. That makes it. Is there a two form in this sentence? No. Who's doing the verb? That. Say it for me. Ça me rend. There we go. Give me that makes it. Who's doing the verb? Sa, that makes it. Sa, Sa le rend. That makes it difficult. Sa, that makes it difficult. Sa, Sa le rend difficile. Now, if I wanted to go to know, Sa le rend difficile. De. Spot on. De. Sa. Sa quoi? Lovely. For the moment. Pour le moment. Pour le moment. But. Mais. In general. In general. I hear myself well with everybody. Je m'en. Je m'entends bien. Avec. Avec. Tout. Euh, avec. Everybody. Tout, 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 le, tout le monde. Good, good French. Okay, next question. Okay. Can I just yeah, we can. Uh, 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 say the sentence. Give me your thought bubble. I can't speak English. Give me your thought bubble and then give me your French thought bubble. Good. What's the question? Uh, my question is, I am not f uh, very familiar with uh, Okay, good, good. So my question is, my, ma question, question. A, a, I am not 
Je suis pas. Lovely, very familiar, feminine, très, très familiar. familiar. Lovely, with. The